Hey, let's dive into Florida's real estate market with ease and unravel the simplicity of Florida's as-is contracts. As a home buyer getting ready to sign a Florida as-is contract, please don't panic. Many buyers hear these terms and start to fill with fear. What if the house is a money pit? Am I making a mistake? Is this really the house for me or should I just keep looking? That's completely normal. Even though you signed a contract and make an escrow deposit, you're not fully locked in. As a buyer, I truly believe you shouldn't just tie up someone's home and then decide if you like it or not. However, you should tie it up and see the quality of the home and the quality of the maintenance they've kept on that particular home. As a buyer, you have the right to bring out your vendors and hopefully a state certified home inspector. Let them go into all the detail checking, looking through the systems and mechanicals. And regardless of how that property inspects, you have the right to cancel the contract and get your escrow refunded. Per the contract, you don't even owe anyone an explanation of why you're backing out. As a home buyer on an as is, you, your agent, and your attorney should be requesting the signed state of Florida seller's property disclosure. This document will protect you from dishonest sellers who might have hidden issues from you, your agent, and your home inspector. If you find issues with the home, you have the right to request repairs from the seller, but understand this, the seller is not obligated to give you what you're asking for, and furthermore, they're not even obligated to reply to your request. However, you hold the ultimate power to cancel the contract if you cannot come to terms. Hey, I hope this video helps answer some common questions and put some minds at ease. Please reach out to your attorney or your agent for more clarification. And until next time, be kind.